New this morning, a group of attorneys generals are now calling on grocery chain Albertsons to hold off paying a special dividend until a review of the recently announced $25 billion merger with Kroger is complete. In a letter to Kroger and Albertsons CEOs, the AG say paying the dividend would prevent Albertsons from competing effectively while the merger is pending. Joining us right now to talk about is Washington, D.C. Attorney General Carl Rancine. Good morning to you. How are you doing, Andrew? Uh, I'm good, thank you. How, let's, let's talk about this transaction and let's talk about why you wrote this letter. How concerned are you about this deal? We're deeply concerned about the deal and uh, thank you for highlighting the fact that we're talking about a bipartisan letter. Republican attorneys general and Democratic attorney generals who value consumers, competition and workers. We're sp specifically concerned about this deal because with the announced merger was a significant nearly $4 billion special dividend announcement, which could be valid or could amount to a massive improper giveaway to certain shareholders. We think that we need to review that, and that's exactly what we're doing. Let, let, just to put a fine point on it, you think that the dividend is, is a special giveaway, that that's what you're looking at, or you're looking at the transaction as it relates to competition? It's a great question. Uh, I think we're going to take this in stages. First stage right now is to stop the dividend payment. We're asking nicely via a letter. All options are on the table, but that needs to be stopped. We will, of course, review the entirety of the merger, uh, but the actions around the special dividend is what caught a bipartisan group of state attorney generals. But attention. you're worried about the dividend because if the transaction gets blocked, you believe that it puts Albertsons in a particularly complicated position. Is that is that the sort of You've got it exactly right, Andrew. It? You've got it exactly right. Four billion dollars out of the uh, account from a Albertson is going to make it quite difficult for Albertson to compete in a very, very tough marketplace. That may weaken Albertson and it may lead to a conclusion that is a foregone conclusion. Um, not one that would result from a proper review of a merger. So we're going to stop that payment. Right. We're asking them to stop it first, and then we'll proceed with other options. Can I ask you this, though? Uh, advocates of this transaction would say, given how tough that, this marketplace is, you just described it as such, that there's a reason and rationale for a deal like this, that given... Amazon and, and, and uh, e-commerce and all of the new ways that people are getting their groceries, that these two need to get together to be able to compete against that. That 20, 30 years ago, those competitors didn't exist. They exist today. And we need to think about the market in a different way. What do you think of that? I think that's a really fair and well-articulated question. My response to that question is focus on competition, consumers, and workers. And we know that an essential industry like grocery foods, even if it's dominated by three or four players, that level of concentration means what? Mom and pop, gone. Mid-sized businesses in the grocery food area, gone. What does that mean? Prices increase. Concentration and power against consumers increases. Difficulties on workers increases. So we're focused on competition, workers, and consumers. Attorney General Racine, you, you said that you're going to ask them to do this voluntarily, but then you have other options if they don't. What are those other options? Becky, I would just assume uh, leave the options on the table um, because I really would hope that Albertson does the right thing and just allows the status quo to proceed while the review of the merger takes place. What's the rush?